Frank Seekins, and welcome to A Mother Rose Up, the information video. This is to help you understand and use all the information that I've included in the background of this teaching. You do not have to watch this video to watch the rest of A Mother Rose Up video series. Many of you have heard or read my teachings and know that I add a lot of scripture as well as Hebrew and Greek reference materials, biblical verses, and historical usage. I try to do two different things with every teaching. The first is to make the biblical teaching clear and simple. The second is to give in-depth biblical and scholastic proof. But it is just as important that the material not overwhelm the clear message. So I put much of the in-depth material in the background. This gives you access to the resources when you want to do more study yourself, but it does not hinder your hearing the message. An important point. I love the Hebrew word pictures. I have found that the Hebrew word pictures often have a real impact in my own life and in ministering to others. But the word pictures never take the place of Scripture. I use the words Bible verses and biblical context as the real test to what the Bible says about the message. So why do I use the Hebrew word pictures? They are a perfect memory system to the biblical meaning of words and precepts. The Hebrew word pictures are like a great sermon illustration, like those you may have heard over the years. Much like the illustration that Billy Graham used when he took the Chinese word for righteousness and showed how it gave a picture of when I am beneath the Lamb. It can also be read as when I am a Lamb, redeemed, made righteous. Both pictures are perfect from a biblical perspective. This Chinese character is on Ruth Graham's gravestone today. The power of this message is not the Chinese word itself, but in how the Chinese word picture perfectly describes the biblical teaching. And I'm not sure it's a coincidence. What it does is give us a perfect way to see, remember, and therefore live the biblical truth. Verbal word pictures are commonly used in many sermons and teachings. Parakletos means an advocate. In biblical Greek, it is simply pictured as para, beside, alongside, and kletos, or kletos, to call. Notice the Greek word for advocate at the bottom, parakletos, and the word picture meanings are clearly shown below. Para, with, beside, near, kletos, called, invited. These Chinese, Greek, and other clear word pictures were often used in powerful sermons and teachings. They were never designed to take the place of Scripture, but when properly used, they can be remembered and thought about for decades. This does not diminish the power and value of Hebrew word pictures. Hebrew word pictures are powerful. They help us remember biblical truth. They can help keep a biblical truth by mind and heart for decades. But again, as powerful and right and good as I think the word pictures are, they can never take the place of Scripture. Now back to a mother grows up. How to use the information included. A companion to my book. Page numbers will be shown throughout this teaching such as A Mother Rose Up, page 6. Please bear in mind that the A Mother Rose Up video series is intended for a broader audience than just Hebrew or Greek scholars. This means that I have chosen to use the common English pronunciation of names and words such as Deborah, 
Junia, Mother, Oppression. Also included are the original biblical words with the resource numbers or pages, along with the page number found in my book, A Mother Rose Up. A Mother Rose Up, page 43, Apostolos Strong's number 652. The resource number is for Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, Thayer's Greek-English Lexicon of the New Testament, or the page number for Gesenius Hebrew Chaldee Lexicon to the Old Testament. These biblical resource numbers and page numbers will help you find the word and the biblical usage in many online sites such as blueletterbible.com, biblehub.com, bibletools.org, or studylight.org, and many more. An example, in Hebrew or Aramaic, which is a close sister language used in the Bible, like in the book of Daniel, M or mother can be found under Strong's 517. Notice that in blueletterbible.com, the Hebrew or Aramaic words need to be searched under 0517 or H517 so that they are not confused with the Greek words. The Greek word, apostolos, is found under the Strong's number 6. 52. And in blueletterbible.com, this Greek word would be searched for as simply 652. Remember, you can easily skip the original words and resource information or include them. The message is the same. You will often see the page number to find what is being taught in the A Mother Rose Up book in the bottom corner. A Mother Rose Up, page 10. Strong's, Thayer's, and Gesenius can be purchased as a book or found online. I recommend that the first time that you watch this teaching that you skip the extra information. First, hear the message, and then you can go back and let the biblical and resource information confirm the message. Remember that the book includes much more. Now, go to A Mother Rose Up, Part 1. There are books and materials available. For more, go to livingwordpictures.com or amotherroseup.com or call me at 602-574-6309. Thank you. Shalom, shalom.